Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And not only are we going to be hitting up some thrift stores today, but we're also going to hit up Ross and Ollie's because Ollie's and Ross have got some insane deals going on right now. I'm talking action figures for as little as $3.99. So one of the things I'm still hunting for is Duke and the motorcycle, uh, G.I. Joe classified Duke and his motorcycle. So I'm still on the hunt for that. And I did get a tip that he might be a, a specific Ross. So we're definitely going to check that out. And uh, oh my gosh, guys, I, I ended up scoring some pretty awesome stuff from the thrift stores and I can't wait to show you. All right, guys, let's keep our fingers crossed and let's pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, well, this is apparently the location where the Duke was spotted. But we're gonna have to look around a little bit and see if we can find him. Let's see, what do we got over here? What's this? Oh, some more spawn. There's a Black Adam back there. And we got the Imperial Officer. And some Star Wars over here. Some Transformers, Turtle stuff. Oh, look at this pack. Oh, here's some Joes over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing Duke anywhere. What's this guy? Is this the Imperial? Oh, yeah, it's the Imperial guy. All right, so we got busted at Ross looking for this G.I. Joe Duke classified figure. So the figure wasn't there, but that's okay. There's actually another Ross in the area that we can just mosey on over to and see if maybe I can find it there. All right, well, their toy section looks like it's a little smaller, but that don't mean nothing. That doesn't mean that we can't find Duke or a Viper three pack in here somewhere. Or it might mean that we won't find a Duke or a Viper 3 pack. I am going to get this right here for my friend Derek. He asked me if I'd pick him up one of these. Oh, I haven't seen this Mario figure before at Ross. So that one's new. Oh, check this out. That's really cool. Yeah, it looks like we got some Pokemon stuff over here too with these old Pokeballs. Busted again. Man, this thing is so elusive. I don't know if I'm ever going to find it. I think it's time to switch gears from Ross, from the big chain stores and go check out a thrift store. So I'm, I'm actually over in Haltom City right now. So we're gonna go head on over to Haltom City Thrift and see if they have any vintage goodies on the shelf for us. All right, well, it looks like these shelves 
are looking pretty bare and the bags aren't looking too good either, but we'll go take a look real quick. All right, what do we got in here? Some Ryan World stuff. And it looks like just a bunch of garbage. Just a bunch of junk. What do we got here? We got a bumblebee. I've never seen one like that before. What do we want? Him three ninety nine. Right, I'm gonna have to take this little guy home. That's cool. I just I hope he's complete. Now what's this? Slam City. Still cage. That's kind of cool. You know, they only want a buck ninety nine for this. It's missing some pieces, but this would actually make a cool wrestling ring for my uh, muscle figures, for my vintage muscle figures. So I think I'm going to pick that up. Hot diggity dog, man. Holy cow. That bumblebee, I did not realize how much that bumblebee was worth. So like that was a really, really sweet score. Let's do a little show and tell. So I picked up this wwe slam city wrestling ring and like i said i just thought it would make for like a fun ring for my muscle figures i'm a big fan of muscle i actually have the actual muscle wrestling ring but i thought you know maybe with this one here i could remove that sticker and put like a muscle sticker on it I don't know. I mean, I may just end up leaving it as is, but I thought this thing was pretty cool. And what was it like? I think it was like $2 or something like that. So definitely worth getting to just display some muscle, some muscle figures on it, man. I, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just neat. I don't know. It's just neat. And then the score of the day so far anyway is this bumblebee man look at how awesome he is i saw that he recently sold on ebay for about 60 bucks i was able to get him transformed out of his vw bug vehicle status into robot status and uh, man he looks great he actually does make sounds Let's see if i can get this the do this with one hand Yeah, it's freaking awesome. And I've got my vintage Bumblebee down here and my GoBot. But man, this thing is so cool. Bumblebee has always been one of my favorite Transformers. As a kid, I actually carried this little car with me just about everywhere I went. Not this one specifically. I sold mine in a yard sale when I was about 14 years old. So I had to buy a new one as an adult and he ain't cheap, but yeah, look at this guy, man. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I found him in a thrift store. All right, now that we got the jazz flowing a little bit, I think it's time to go hit up a goodie wheel, baby. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. Speaking of the goodie wheel, get yourself a goodie wheel gang t-shirt. They're on sale until Christmas, the day after Christmas. So you got a few days left. They're normally $28. You can pick one up for $23. Right now, there's a store just below. You'll see the store just below this video. And uh, when you buy a t-shirt, you'll become an official member of the Goody Wheel Gang and you'll get access to an exclusive private Facebook group that is a fire. I'm talking in fuego, baby. Like, it, seriously, it is an awesome group. Very, very active. And everybody's posting pictures of things that they're finding in thrift stores or picking up at Ross and giving us tips on like where we can find things. Like it is, it is a fantastic group. I absolutely love my Goody Wheel gang and all of my brothers and sisters in it. So to become an official member, grab yourself a t-shirt. Now let's head off to the Goody Wheel. All right, gang, we about to hit up this Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for you, boy. Let's check it out. All right, what's this? Some sort of rocket thing. Got an airplane. Oh, that little Santa, Santa Claus figurine. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Weird. Uh, 
uh, some little people. These look old though, might be vintage. Oh, what do we got here? That looks old. Yeah, well, it turns out it's from the 1970s. They went 329. I don't know if it actually works or not, but it needs some cleaning up. But I think it's kind of cool. I might might just grab it. I'm not a big Sesame Street person, but I always liked Cookie Monster. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, yeah, I actually have some of these guys still in the box, still, still in their containers. Looks like there's some Treasure X stuff in there, too. What do we got here? We got a box of stuff. Is there anything in there we want? There's a Wendy's book. That's kind of weird. Let's see if we can pull that out. It's missing an arm. A little book of shapes. Made by Wendy's. 2020. Oh, I would have thought that would have been like older. Let's see. Some sort of action figure. Maybe some Fortnite stuff there. Yeah, nothing I'm interested in. I do have like these Playmobil astronauts. But again, nothing I'm interested in. Harry Potter Lego set. Wonder if it's complete. Well, this thing's selling for like 50 bucks and it's like factory sealed. Or at least it appears to be. They only want like $4 for a 329. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. That would be a nice little flip. There's actually another Lego set here too. What's this, Overwatch? This one here is also sealed. Oh, hell yeah, this thing just sold for like 80 bucks. <laughs> so I'm going to grab both of these for less than $7. That is awesome. Okay, so I ended up picking up the Cookie Monster Sesame Street toy, which I don't really have a lot of use for that. I'm not a big like Sesame Street person. I was an electric company kid when I was a kid. Comment below if you were electric company or Sesame Street when you were a kid. I was an electric company kid, but I ended up picking that up just because I felt the need to rescue it from the thrift store. It's from the 1970s, but oh my gosh, I did not expect to find those Lego uh, boxes. That was, that was insane. Awesome. Big money score for me. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, check out the cookie wagon. Cookie wagon. Yeah, he's going to need a little cleaning up. But, man, this guy is from the 1970s. And like I said, I couldn't just leave him on the shelf. I felt the need to rescue him. He actually does work somewhat. I put some batteries in him. I think he's supposed to walk. And he doesn't really walk, but he does make cookies. Check it out. Anyway, yeah, you can see the cookies are popping like popcorn in there, but what a neat little toy. Next up, we got our big money scores of the day, this Harry Potter Lego set and this Overwatch. And these things are selling for a pretty, pretty penny. So I'm gonna put these up on the eBay store and try to make a little extra kiggity cash here for Christmas, especially since I've been spending so much money at Ross and Ollie's and the thrift stores and stuff. It's time to replenish the bank account. But how cool is that, that these things were in a Goodwill and they were like $3 a piece. Unbelievable. Cha-ching, baby, cha-ching. All right, I think it's time to go hit up an Ollie's. All right, what do we got going on here? It says all Christmas, 20% off. I wonder if that means Christmas toys as well. Guess we'll find out. All right, what do we got? Lots of Eternals. Oh, that bullhead's kind of cool. I have a... Three Oh, okay. there's a Chewbacca. All right. now, how about... Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Knocking how about stuff around the, everywhere. Uh, um, how about... All right, here's the Fortnite. 
Oh, what do we got over here? We got a bumblebee, huh? Is he transform? Mm, doesn't look like it. Looks like he's just got articulation. Oh, here's a roadblock, but that's not the type of Joe we're looking for. Is this a snake eyes? Oh yeah, snake eyes from the movie. Not interested in that. Got several of these beast wars. We got Clamp Champ, Moss Man. But no Joes that I'm interested in. I mean, it would be nice to find like the Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, here's all the D&D. &D. Gosh, look how much Dungeons and Dragons there are. It's crazy. What's this, a uh, campaign case? It's $2.99. What's a terrain? What's a campaign case? What is this? Hmm. This is the actual, this is a game. Or a case to carry the game in? I don't know, that sucker is heavy though. I can't believe they only want $3 for that. It was originally $49.99. Okay, so initially I thought, well, maybe I'll get this for $2.99 and flip it. So I'll see how much it's selling for. They're selling for like 20 bucks, but there are a million of them listed on eBay. So it's not worth it. Well, let's see if we can get lucky in this aisle. I haven't seen him before. Guardians of the Galaxy. Just so much stuff. I mean, there's a lot here. I wish they had the rest of these guys here. Because I've got two of the four. $15.99 for him. That's a little much. Danger Mouse. What's this? Oh, it's a case full of Invisible Woman from Fantastic Four. Too bad that wasn't an actual real Rattler. So when I was in Ollie's, there was an older couple in there next to me in one of the aisles. And uh, when I say older, I'm talking like in their 70s. So they were obviously somebody's grandparents, but their cart was stacked. They had Marvel, Dungeons and Dragons, Star Wars, Ghostbusters. Like they had a ton of action figures in their cart. They said they were buying them for their grandkids and uh, that, you know, the toys were actually affordable. So, uh, which is so true. I mean, like in this economy and the price of toys these days at Target and Walmart, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, places like Ollie's and Ross are making Christmas possible for people. And that was definitely proof of it. All right, guys, let's go hit up another Goody Wheel. All right, gang, it's our second Goody Wheel of the day. Let's see if this place can produce like the last Goody Wheel did. That last Goody Will just made me some extra kiggity cash. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some more money. You got my money? You got my money, Goody Will? Hopefully I can trade my money in for some more money or some cool vintage toys. Let's check it out. Man, I wonder what's going on. The, uh, it's probably like the fourth or fifth cop car that I've seen go by like in the last like couple of minutes. Oh, here comes another one. That's an ambulance or something. Oh, it must have been a big wreck. Hope nobody got hurt. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy Buzz. What the heck's he doing? It's like a bubble blower. <laughs> Well, I haven't really dug too much, but just kind of looking here, I can see there's not a whole lot going on. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to get busted here. Busted 
at the Goodie Wheel again. But that's okay. We still got a few more stores on the agenda. Let's go hit up Old Thrifty Pants, Old Thrift Giant, and see what they got on their shelves. All right, let's see what we can find. What's this down here? Oh, it's like a Sentinel One or something like that. Oh, look at this big old bad boy. What's this, a Yoda? Oh yeah, check him out. How much do they want for him? $6.99. That is pretty sweet. I have to get that. Oh, look at this. We got a Jabba for a buck ninety-nine. All right. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm <laughs> doing good. Got a lot of 12-inch figures here, but yeah, we'll definitely pick this Jabba up. That's pretty sweet. And who is this? Like Jafar, maybe, from Aladdin? Kind of looks like him. I think we got a, yep, a Venomized Hulk. We got a Supes over here. What else we got? What's this? U.S. Marines and Jungle. Well, it's like a model kit or something. It's ripped open. I'm going to have to see if there's, is there anything in there? Now this is the only thing that's in there. It looks like it looks like it's just legs and canteens and stuff like that. Oh no, there's actually little bodies. Yeah, wow, those are small. Those are really small figures. Oh, here's a Sesame Street play set. This is a uh, a newer one. Oh, this one actually has a refrigerator. Mine doesn't have that. Oh, it's got some extra features in it that my vintage one doesn't have. I'm not gonna get it, but. It's kind of neat to see that. What do they want for it, by the way? Is there even a sticker on it? Oh yeah, six ninety nine. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. Dang, y'all! Yoda and Jabba. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. Let's do some show and tell. Oh my God, these things are freaking awesome, guys! Look at this Jabba. He looks very reminiscent of the vintage one. I've seen, you know, different Java sculpts over the years, and some of them are just, like, weird looking. Just like this, I do. Put me down, you will. Yeah, we will. We'll get to you in a minute, bro. Isn't he cool? Oh, look, his eyes move and his mouth moves. But I've seen some different sculpts of Java, and some of them just look so weird. Hold this it one, too hard, you are. Put me down, you will. I haven't even picked you up yet. Okay. Okay. Sorry for the interruption, guys. But uh, yeah, some of them just look weird, but this one is pretty movie accurate and uh, looks very similar to the original vintage one that came out in 1983. Many stories have I answered my questions with you. Yeah, I need to figure out how you work, man, because I notice like if I squeeze Always his hands. learning a Jedi. We will. Yeah, test my knowledge. What do I need to do? What is the name Anakin is given when he turns to the dark side? Darth, Darth Maul. Va Darth Vader. Darth Sidious. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. I didn't know if I had to yell louder. I don't know why. I don't know how it works. Like he asks questions and then I answer, but then he doesn't do anything. But if I squeeze, <laughs> tickled, ah, going, ah, going somewhere, ah, going some, ah, some going, ah, going somewhere. Oh, are we? He's like malfunctioning. He's like glitching. May ah, something going somewhere, ah, something else wish you to do. Save this for another time. We will. Yeah, we'll save it for another time. But, oh my gosh, guys, isn't that freaking awesome? Woo, doggies. Man, that was freaking awesome. So happy to be adding those figures to the collection. All right, gang, we got one more store we're going to hit up. Let's go hit up another Ollie's and see what we can do. All right, let's see what we can find. got over here we got lots of marble 
There's a Zorana and a Baroness Bausch. Lots of model kits too. Oh wow, I didn't see this kit last time I was here. 20 bucks for that, it was originally 40. Now last week when I was here, there was this was all toys through here as well. They must have had a bunch of people come in and buy some shit. Here's some G.I. Joe over here. What do we got? Oh, we got a Dusty. So my buddy Derek needs Dusty as well. It doesn't look like it. Got all kinds of fun stuff here on these shelves. Even this stretch monkey. We got Marvel's Wong. We got Moff Gideon. Doctor Strange. What else do we got? Despair, Cobra Commander. Oh, nice. These toys are all 20% off too, which means I'll get them for $4 instead of five. All right, so I ended up picking up the Dusty for my friend Derek, NASCAR man. So he was in need of some classifieds and I picked them up for him. So that was a great way to end today's episode, making some subscribers, some friends that I've made through the channel happy. That's what it's all about. Tis the season. Hey, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.